got a demonstration I want to show you here that I first learned from Bob Becker. It's called a long tube demonstration. I'm not really sure why he called it that, but um, it, his name, so get a little extra water out of here. Got a tube with stoppers at both ends. What I'm going to do is put some of this solution, which is simply distilled water with universal indicator in it. I've got a cheat box back here because I'm vertically challenged. I'll know it's getting full when my left hand gets wet. The green color tells us that the distilled water is neutral. What I'm going to do is put a little bit of base in one end, a little bit of acid in the other, and we'll see what happens. Here I've got sodium hydroxide, three molar, got a little bit in a beaker. I'm going to put some in this end. And right away, we see a purple color, typical of the base form of universal indicator. I'm going to turn the tube over, put it back on my cheat table. Now I have some three molar hydrochloric acid that I'm going to put in this end. Notice that I'm carefully measuring the amount I use. And let's see what happens if I turn it up. What I have here, I used apparently more base than acid, but you can see the red color of the acid fading to a yellow, some green, a little bit darker green, blue maybe, definitely violet. If you look at the piece of paper that comes with your universal indicator, you'll see that this is from a high pH to a low pH, roughly 12 to 2. The thing that's interesting about this, and you play with it, you've, um, sometimes it works to move it back and forth more than I did, sometimes it doesn't. But if you take this, and I've done this, and put it on the chalk rail at the foot of your board, assuming you have one right behind your uh, demonstration table, leave it there. The colors will stay basically until the indicator starts to mold, which for me was, well, I did the first day of school, so when we went home for Thanksgiving, I, or Halloween, rather, I said, yeah, there's people growing in there. <laughs> so then I threw it out. This will last, and what will happen is you'll start to get diagonal interfaces. If you've got a place to set it up, it's a real kick to do it that way. But there it is, the pH long tube.